today i have five charting tips for you to move from hard work to smart work and the fourth one is my personal favorite so before we start make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of these videos in coming weeks and now let's get started so i want to start off with creating a chart using a shortcut key so once you select the data and then you need to press the shortcut key alt plus f1 so when you do that it will simply create it will simply insert a new chart using the selected data now here the catch is even though you can use the keyboard shortcut alt plus f1 it will always create a chart which is default chart so let's say instead of creating a line chart i want to create a column chart so column chart is basically the chart which i use most so for this what i need to do is i need to go to the insert tab and then click on recommended charts and from there i need to go to all charts and then column now the chart i want to use as a default chart i need to right click on it and then click on set as default chart and now i need to come back select my data again and then press the keyboard shortcut alt plus f1 that's it so if we insert the default chart that you have or let's say if you want to insert a different chart like pie chart or stacked column chart or any other kind of chart you just need to make that chart default first and then you can use the keyboard shortcut alt plus f1 to insert that chart using the keyboard shortcut now moving to the second tip i have a chart here and when i hide data from the source data it also remove that data bars from the chart now there is a quick fix for this you need to select the chart and then right click and then go to select data and from there you need to click on hidden and empty cells and then you need to tick mark this show data in hidden rows and columns and then you need to click okay and then okay to come back and now if i hide any of these rows from the source data it will not hide data from the chart but there is one more problem that when i hide data when i hide rows it also change the height or width of the chart as well so once i do that once i you know activate showing data from hidden rows and columns i need to make one more change and that's to not to move the chart with rows and columns so for this i'm going to go to format chart area so first you need to right click on it and then go to format chart area and from there you need to click on size and property and in the properties you need to click on don't move a size with cells and now when i come back and again try to hide rows from there it will not hide data from the chart and it will also not change the size of the chart just by you know changing rows and columns now in this chart the values that i have are quite big and it's little tough to understand these values in the first sight to make these numbers quickly understandable i can change the format of these numbers so what i'll do i'll right click on the axis and then go to format axis and from there in the axis options and further in the axis option i'm going to scroll down to display units and from here i'm going to change it to millions so now instead of having 60 millions i have 60 and in the data labels instead of having 49 millions i have 49 and i would also tick mark this that says show display unit label on the chart so it will add a label on the chart to show that these values are in billions and i'm going to highlight this label as well and if you want to change it to thousands you can simply do this by going back and then select thousands from there or even if you want to select hundreds now this charting tip is my personal favorite so what happens is when you create a chart and you always have a set of formatting that you apply on your chart now that formatting takes sometimes a few minutes or sometimes you know more than a few minutes like 10 minutes 15 minutes for you to apply just like i have this column chart here i can copy formatting from this column chart to this column chart just by using copy and paste so what i'll do i'll select this chart right click and then copy and then i'll select the second chart go to paste and paste special 
and I will select formats and then I'll click OK. I'll get the exact same formatting from this chart to this chart. Now, this is something that you can do, but there's one more way to save more time and that's by creating a template for the chart. Let's say you create a column chart with a specific formatting, as I said. So instead of copy and paste, you can create a template for this. So what I'll do, I'll right click on it and I will select save as template. So here, I'm going to use my column chart and I'm going to save it. Now when you go back to insert and click on recommended charts and from all charts, you have this option here to insert the same column chart with the same formatting that you have saved as a template. So not just a column chart, you can create a template for any of the charts that you use a lot and save you a lot of time. And you can also make this chart your default chart so that you can create the chart with the keyboard shortcut as well. And here I have a line chart and this is the data from where this chart has been right. Now, if I delete any of these values, let's say from the month of May, if I delete, so it will also remove the line from this month as well. So now I have this gap from April to June because the value for May is not there. Now to deal with this problem, you have two more options. So when you right click and go to select data, and then when you click on hidden and empty cells, you get these two more options. So one is there already, that is gap. And the second is to, instead of showing this gap, you can also show a zero. So when I click OK and go back, it will show a zero and move the line to the bottom of the chart. Now, the last option, which I found more convenient and easy for the user to understand is connecting data points with the line. Now, when I select this and click OK and go back, so instead of showing the data for the May, it will straight connect April to June. And it will skip my from here so you don't have data ribbon for this but you still have a line chart which flows from starting to end